Hello children, welcome to Lakshmi study room. This is the part 2 video in new science textbook, food for health. So fats, when we eat curd rice, our palm becomes oily. Why does it happen? The paper used it to pack bhaji or pakodi etc. becomes translucent here and there. Why? The butter present in the curd makes the palm oily and oil present in the bhaji, puri, etc. make the paper transparent. So, oils and butters have a fats. We are very familiar with the fats in our daily life. Let us know about them. So, our body uses fat as a fuel source. So, they are also called energy giving nutrients. I have already told you. So, carbohydrates are also energy giving food. But proteins are building of the building material of the bodies of any organism. So, carbohydrates and fats gives energy for the energy giving nutrients. In fact, fats give more energy when compared to same amount of carbohydrates. That means uh, carbohydrates, uh, compared to carbohydrates, fats give more energy. Take for example, 1 gram carbohydrates give less energy compared to 1 gram fats give energy is more. So, butter, ghee, almond oil, cooking oil. So, all these food items contains fat rich food items. Okay. So, to test the fats, now let us test the fats. All the above food items we eat, we, are, we eat are rich in fats makes a list of some more such food items. By doing simple test, we can confirm the presence of the fats given food item. And what were the other examples for fats? So, other examples for Different oil seeds are there like sunflower, groundnut, sesamum. So, all these oil seeds give oil to us, palm seeds. So, these are all the examples for fats only. Test for fats. Fats are usually oily in nature. When we place the food with fats on a paper, the paper will become transparent totally or partially. So, if we put any oils on the paper, the paper become translucent or partially or transparent partially. So, activity 2. Aim. What's the aim for this activity? To confirm the presence of fat in groundnut seeds. So, what do you need for this experiment to groundnut seeds? Piece of white paper, ceramic mortar or we can use any... Um, any crusher. So, how to do? Take a few groundnut seeds in a ceramic mortar and make a fine paste. Place the paste on the white paper and rub it for few seconds. Leave it for some time. In the white paper turns transparent and partially transparent. Then you, then you can say that groundnut seeds contains fat. What do you see? The paper tra turns transparent are partially transparent and op opaque. So, the paper will be turns partially transparent. Sometimes may be uh, completely transparent also. Okay, Partially transparent or transparent. So, fat is dash in groundnuts. Fat is present in groundnuts. So, test the below material to find out the presence of the fat. What are bhaji? These are rich source for fat. So, fat is present here. So, rice flour. Rice flour absent because rice flour contains carbohydrates. So, palkova, so fat is present here. 
So make a list of food items that are rich in the fats. Do you know why elders suggest us to take green leafy vegetables, green leafy vegetables regularly? So that is the reason for this. Minerals, green leafy vegetables are rich sources for minerals and vitamins. The primary health center doctors and health workers regularly visit schools. They test the eyes and observe the tongue, nails, skin, etc. to identify the health problems in the children. They provide iron tablets for anemic students and spectacles for vision problems. And what's the re what are the reasons for the anemia? So it is uh, the causes for anemia definitely deficiency of a nutritional disease only. So the first one, two, mainly two causes are there in, for anemia. Shortage of iron in your body. So shortage of iron in your body and shortage of vitamin deficiency anemia. So vitamin deficiency anemia is also there. So and why, what's the relation between the iron and anemia? So our bone marrow needs to produce uh, needs iron to make hemoglobin our bone marrow so where it is present bone marrow is present inside the bones it will always uh, forms a new blood cells and it is uh, a new blood red blood cells contains lot of hemoglobin so the bone marrow needs iron to make hemoglobin so without iron without adequate iron your body cannot produce hemoglobin, enough hemoglobin for red blood cells. And what is the vitamin? Vitamin B6 and vitamin B12 needs, our body needs vitamin B6 and B12. So, due to the deficiency of vitamin B6 and B12, the child may may, may got deficiency diseases like anemia. If the child have a deficiency of B6 vitamin vitamin in this uh, in his food, the child may get anemia. If the child lost uh, B12 vitamins, so B12 is a B12 scientific name is a cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is naturally prepared by microorganisms which were in our stomach. So B12 cyanocobalamin if the deficiency of vitamin B12 the child may get pernicious anemia so these two are the reasons for anemia and why do students get vision problems so vision problems some are the this is food for health lesson so that's why here we discuss only the nutrition related problems only so, due to the deficiency of vitamin A, the child will get deficient, get vision problems. So, to understand that, we have to know more about the minerals and vitamins. Minerals and vitamins are called protective nutrients because they protect our body and give good health to us. And what are protective nutrients? Minerals and Vitamins are called protective nutrients. And what is the main function of protective nutrients? They protect our body and give good health to us. See how the vegetables and leafy vegetables, roots contains lot of minerals and vitamins. So let us know about the minerals first. Observe the below, below the table and showing the details of few minerals and there so mineral elements and where we can get these elements from which food items we will get the mineral elements and what is the importance of the minerals so calcium first one is a calcium so calcium where we can get in the milk we will get calcium with the milk we will get calcium in milk curd, green vegetables, fish, etc. We, these are the sources for rich calcium. And what is the use of calcium? To maintain strong bones and teeth. If you want to maintain strong bones and teeth, we need calcium.
and next one is the iron where it will be available in which food source the sources for iron is a meat dry fruits green leafy vegetables etc and what's the use of the iron iron it is for blood production and transfer of oxygen and phosphorus and where it will be available in which food items milk curd cereals nuts and meat etc so what is the use of this phosphorus importance what is the importance to build strong bones and teeth so both calcium and phosphorus will be helps to maintain strong bones and teeth because teeth and bones are made up of calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate so these two mineral elements are very 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 important to our strong bones and teeth the next one is a iodine so iodine where we can it will be iodine is a source for seafood and iodized salt and what is seafood fish crabs prawns so all these are seafoods from seafood we will get iodine so what is the importance of iodine thyroid hormone secretions deficiency or excess creates the goiter disease and sodium the common name for uh, sodium where we will get sodium we will get from common salt the scientific name for common salt is a sodium chloride so sodium we will get from the common salt so retains water needed for the body sodium what's the importance of sodium retains water needed for the body to get iodine which food you which food would you prefer so where we we get iodine seafood and iodized salt from seafoods and iodized salt from iodized salt and seafoods we will get iodine and write the names of food items that are rich in iron so iron rich is a meat dry fruits green leafy vegetables etc these are all rich sources for iron so meat dry fruits dry fruits and green leafy vegetables these are all the examples for iron rich food so fruits vegetables leafy vegetables salads we have a different minerals essential minerals are essential for proper growth of the body to maintain good health do you know weekly iron folic acid supplements supplementation we can simply call it as a wif scheme was launched in 2012 and what is the aim of this program to prevent anemia in the school children under this program iron tablets that is pink or blue color tablets are given to the children studying in class 1 to 12th so this service delivered through the school teachers so these tablets should be consumed after the main meal of the day otherwise the side effects of these tablets such as a nausea may occur that means vomiting may occur so the children have to take these tablets after main meal only without taking meal they don't these they don't get these tables tablets so are all these minerals included in your diet what about vitamins brahmanandam felt difficulty to see the objects in him dim light so he prefers to avoid night journeys do you know what we call such a problem so color night blindness so what do you think may be the reason behind this problem deficiency of vitamin a so do you know that it can be prevented by taking healthy food this is due to lack of vitamin a so what food should be taken to prevent the light bl night blindness to prevent the light night blindness vitamin a is required so vitamins are of two types water soluble and fat soluble so fat soluble vitamin vitamins are a d e k and water soluble vitamin vitamins are c b complex here 
vitamins and their functions and they where they are available for us and if the vitamin is uh, loss then what type of disease we will get so all these will be given in this table so the first one is a vitamin a so the function of vitamin a it is take care of our health of eye and hair and also skin also and where we will get we will get the vitamin a from carrot moringa moringa means munagaku so milk products liver oils and next dry the deficiency diseases if the person did not take vitamin a rich food then the person may get chance to dry eyes night blindness cornea failure vitamin b complex so from b1 to b12 there are two different types of vitamins are there here i am discussing about only vitamin b complex so overall so utilization of carbohydrates proteins and formation of rbc so next where it present bran of cereals egg milk leafy vegetables so the diseases beriberi fits pellagra scaly skin phosphorus sorry photophobia loss of memory so all these deficiency diseases caused by due to the deficiency of vitamin vitamin b complex only next vitamin c health of the skin teeth gums and blood cells and vitamin c is rich rich source for citrus fruits papaya moringa and sprouts the deficiency of vitamin c leads to scurvy scurvy so vitamin d health of the bone and teeth so sunlight and where it should be available it is freely available in the nature only sunlight and milk products so the deficiency of vitamin d leads to rickets so vitamin e health for nerves and blood cells and where there is also resources fruits and vegetables and sunflower oil have a vitamin e and vitamin deficiency of vitamin vitamin e d the deficiency of vitamin e it leads to fertility disorders that means uh, in males sperm production is not produced sperms are not produced in males in females uh, repeating abortions will be takes place due to the deficiency of vitamin a next vitamin k help in the clotting of the blood when we get wounded so examples for resources what are the resources cabbage and leafy vegetables so if by deficiency of vitamin k the person may get chance to delay in clotting of the blood what happens due to the deficiency of vitamin k delay in clotting of the blood and what are the infants exposed to mild sunlight for a short timing in morning because vitamin d is a, is a sunlight is a rich source for vitamin d and vitamin d is is very very important for the growth of the bones so why it was advised to take vitamin c in the covid 19 period discuss because vitamin c is a uh, increasing disease resistant or immunity vitamin a sorry vitamin c helps to increase our uh, immunity so praveen came to know that vitamin c plays an important role in increasing disease resistant or immunity she thought that only sour foods contain vitamin c is it true no not only sour foods but some of the guava and some of the fruits also contains vitamin c how do we confirm the presence of the vitamin c in the fruits that means uh, the whether the fruits contains vitamin c or not how can we confirm how can we estimate the quantity of vitamin c in the different fruits please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you